funny how the story goes Little hope but bigger dreams uh, They try to bring the sucker down Singing louder than the crowd So I'm ready now and uh, now I'm traveling uh, I'm planning to visit um, Rockefeller and after that today is exciting day I'm going to have fun <laughs> excited now I'm waiting for elevator theater and let's see how it goes Welcome to the top of the well, row. Right As Please you watch your steps, you. continue moving across the theater to the end of each row to allow room for all of our guests. Okay. Following this special five minute presentation, the doors to your right will open and elevators will soon take you to top of the rock and we an unforgettable view very, of the most exciting. Pardon? We don't listen very well as far as going to the end. Okay. I want the center. I mean, they have ample row. Here. <laughs> We're good. Welcome to Rockefeller Center, here in the heart of Manhattan, home to global broadcasting, commerce, and entertainment. It all began right here, almost a hundred years ago. New York, July 1928. News flash. The Metropolitan Opera and businessman John D. Rockefeller Jr. have announced plans to build a magnificent new opera house right here in the heart of Manhattan. Dateline, October 29, 1929. The financial world is reeling as the stock market crashes. Plans to build a new opera house quickly evaporate as money, jobs, and hope are suddenly in short supply which is when businessman John D. Rockefeller Jr. has a flash of inspiration. He is going to hire an all-star team of architects and build a city within the city. As his vision begins to grow, so does the project. This will be a center for commerce, art, and communications, and he will finance the whole thing. creates 75,000 jobs in New York and thousands more across the country. Rising into the skies of Manhattan, it becomes a beacon of hope, the promise of a better future. As Christmas rolls around, the construction workers buy a 20-foot Christmas tree that their families decorate with handmade garlands. Up on the high steel, you'll find New Yorkers, immigrants from across Europe, and the famous Mohawk Nation Skywalkers. Walking on 18-inch beams 70 stories up while catching molten iron rivets is just a day at the office for these fearless crews. One fateful day, the workers break for a PR photo session, giving the city and the world an unforgettable image for the ages. As the work goes on, John D. wants to create more than just buildings. He wants to create a public work of art. A group of world-class artists and sculptors join the engineers, architects, and builders. Together, they create a place that captures the spark of inspiration. Almost immediately, 
the complex becomes known as Radio City, as broadcasts from within these walls reach around the globe. In the 1930s, radio programs broadcasting from studios just a few floors above you are heard in homes across America. Movie stars, famous comedians, and a world-class symphony orchestra played live from 30 Rock Studio 8H, the largest radio studio in the world. welcome guests in our homes. From the time we wake up to late in the evening, they are a part of the family. And every Saturday, America tunes into Studio 8H. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. And high above it all, on the 65th floor, is the legendary Rainbow Room, where New York comes to celebrate. Good evening, and welcome to the Rainbow Room at the top of Rockefeller Center. Here, to step in the door is to feel like a celebrity. As you visit today, you'll feel the energy and the magic that is Rockefeller Center. And trust me, that feeling never goes away. We say welcome everybody and everybody is welcome. Rockefeller Center without a tree. Rockefeller Center has always been a place of inspiration and celebration. And the story is far from over. A story that you are now a part of. We welcome you to Top of the Rock. So it's amazing experience guys, if you are coming, I would recommend Top of the Rock, it's amazing observatory uh, for New York skyline, can have the views, amazing things and now I'm going to enjoy the beam experience. Your tongue, no one is forever young 